So welcome to part 3 of 3D and After Effects. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at layer ordering. So I'm just going to create a free solid. Um, I'm going to create a purple solid. I'm going to create an orange solid. And I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. And I'm going to create a yellow solid, bright yellow. And I'm going to make this a little smaller than the last one. Okay, so when we're dealing with 2D layers, whichever layer is on top is the one that um, is at the front. So imagine there's a camera um, facing straight on. So if I put the purple layer at number one here, the purple layer covers up the orange layer and the yellow layer. Likewise, if I put the yellow layer at the top, it's on top of the purple layer, but the orange layer is hidden because it's behind the purple layer. So it's a pretty simple uh, layer ordering system. Basically, whatever's at the top uh, is the one at the front. So this gets a bit trickier with 3D layers. So I'm just going to make these into 3D layers by clicking uh, the cube icon and I'm just gonna order them I'm gonna put the purple layer right at the back then the orange layer and then the yellow layer at the front I'm gonna create a camera and I'm gonna create a quick null for the camera I'm gonna parent the camera to the null object make the null 3d now I'm gonna go to my uh, custom view one and I'm just gonna move this purple layer back along Z, so it's right at the back in 3D space. So the Z value is, I'm going to make it 800, so imagine it's like 800 meters away from the camera. The orange solid I'm going to make 400 meters away from the camera, and then the yellow solid is at position 0 for the Z value. So if I look through this now, through the camera, we can see uh, the 3D effect, basically we have the purple layer at the back, then the orange layer, and then the brightest yellow layer at the front. What you'll notice is, um, if I move the purple layer to the top now of the list, it's still at the back. So when you're using 3D layers, After Effects doesn't care about the ordering down here. So if I put the orange solid at the top, it is still wedged between the purple and the yellow layer. So it makes no difference which layer is on top. Uh, if a layer is 3D, After Effects only looks at the position value. And since this, um, since the purple layer is furthest at the back, it's always going to be at the back. It doesn't matter uh, if I put it to the top, uh, the position isn't going to change. The only time um, there's a difference is when, if we made the position of the purple layer and the orange layer the same, so I'm just going to set uh, the orange solid position to 800 as well. So now the purple layer and the orange layer are occupying the exact same space. If I now put the orange layer at the top, it does matter. So the ordering does matter when uh, two 3D layers share the same position. I'm just going to make this yellow layer um, at 800 as well. So now, even though they're uh, 3D layers, the layer ordering down here does matter. So I'm just going to put these back to the original values. Uh, the purple layer was at 800, orange at 400, and the yellow solid at Z equals 0. And I'm just going to rotate my camera slightly. So. Another thing to bear in mind is, if we now create a 2D layer, so I'm just going to create a 2D solid, I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to make it uh, size of the comp. Could have just clicked here. So uh, a 2D layer basically breaks the kind of 3D um, ordering structure. So if I wedge this between the yellow and the purple one, you can see that we only see the yellow solid because the red solid basically blocks everything below it. If I put the red solid below the purple uh, 3D layer, now it blocks everything behind it.
and now the red solids at the bottom and um, we still have our 3D layers acting as they did before. The layer ordering here doesn't matter, only the position values. But the 2D solid just ignores that. So I hope this lesson wasn't too confusing. It's just a concept that needs to be understood before you uh, delve deeper into 3D and After Effects. So join me in the next lesson. We're going to do some more fun stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.